my name is Kayla Flojam, and today at Flojam Studios in the home office, we are going to learn how to do horizontal and linear isolations. Uh, these are also known as cat eyes. It's for any level of hooper, uh, it does help a lot if you've had some uh, familiarity with the hoop. So go grab one and let's get started. To start, I'm going to grab the hoop at the bottom of the hoop with my right hand with my index and thumb facing towards the left. Uh, you can do this trick the opposite, but you'll have to hold it with your left hand. Um, all right, so I'm going to start with the horizontal cat eye. From this position, you'll push the hoop out towards your left side and have your hand end up at the 3 o'clock part on the hoop uh, and kind of have it 90, 90 degrees. From this position, we are going to have to pull it from the left side of my body all the way over to my right. So it's a big swooping motion with my arm and the, my right hand is going to kind of be at a forehead height here in the middle. From my right side, I will kind of pull the hoop down and into the center. This is definitely the hardest part of this. It takes a lot of arm strength and that was definitely the sloppiest part of my linear isolations for a long time. Uh, so push the hoop out towards the left uh, swoop over towards the right and then pull it back down to center. For the vertical linear isolation, we are going to start in the same position uh, with my index finger and thumb facing towards the left with my right hand on, my, on the bottom of my hoop. Alright, so from here we're going to start going down so I little, build a little bit of momentum to get that hoop back up because it does take a little bit of force. Uh, to get this motion downward, I am going to push the hoop down while allowing my hand to rotate from the center towards the outside of the hoop so where it's uh, the center of my hoop is now in the middle of my belly. Um, my hand is now going to isolate over to the other side of the hoop so knowing how to do isolations is a big help to this trick. All right, so for a little bit more detail about this bottom part my hand's going to get to a really uncomfortable position, kind of at uh, 2 o'clock if it were a clock. Um, my hand is going to let go of the hoop, and the, my pinky is going to roll thumb side towards the hoop, and then do a hand switch, basically, and catch it over here at around 11 o'clock. Um, from here, I'm going to push the hoop up towards the top and rotate my hand so it gets underneath the hoop, right in the center again. From this point, I can go back down to the bottom and start all over again. Uh, instead of starting up here at the top, when we first started, we started down here at the middle, so it allows a little bit of a smaller illusion, but you can still do that vertical cat eye. Thank you for watching this week's tutorial. If you found it helpful, make sure to give us a like. Subscribe and click the little alert bell to get notifications for future uploads. All of our social media links are in the description below. If you have an idea for a tutorial in the future, make sure to drop it in the comments and let me know when you get this trick. And as always, happy hooping.